people often ask, why was there trouble in Northern Ireland, the north of Ireland? And uh, you could just as validly ask, how could there not have been trouble? We, we went to different schools. We learned different histories. We played different games. We played different football games. And uh, so the school I went to, there were no Protestants. They were all Catholics, except one. And uh, he was very important to me. There were no Protestants at Mayo Bridge School, except Harry McGarry. He was different. He didn't come into the catechism class when the rest of us were learning about who made the world and who God is. God is a Father in heaven, creator and Lord of all things, we learned. Instead, Harry kicked the ball about the schoolyard all on his own. While we were becoming good Christians, he was becoming a good footballer. <laughs> But he told me that he also believed in God, and that he even believed that it was God that made the world. I said I liked football too, and we became good friends. I noticed that he never touched the ball with his hands when he played. We're not allowed to, he said. Is it a sin? I asked. <laughs> I suppose so, he said. What a strict religion, I thought. Later that evening, my father explained to me that it wasn't really football he was playing at all. It was a game called soccer, and it came from England. Our football game was called Gaelic. It was Irish. Is it a sin for a Catholic to play soccer? I asked my father. <laughs> well, if you play for a Gaelic team, you're not allowed to play for a soccer team, he said. That's rule 27 in the official Gaelic Athletic Association guide. <laughs> Would you go to hell if you did? I asked. Not necessarily, he said. But you might be told to. <laughs> he explained that all down the years, England wanted Ireland to become English. But by playing our own games and singing our own songs, the people here were saying we're Irish. England didn't want Protestant people here playing Irish games either, in case we become Irish. And then Ireland would not become English after all. It all sounded very complicated to me, but I passed it on to Harry as best as I could, and we played a mixture of Gaelic and soccer in the schoolyard. The next day, Harry told me that his da had told him to tell me, <laughs> to tell my da, <laughs> that even if good Protestant policemen wanted to play Gaelic, which they didn't anyway, but even if they did, the narrow Gaelic rules would not allow it, and to put that in his pipe and smoke it. <laughs> that night, my father told me to tell Harry, to tell his dad, that the rule only came about because the police force had made an earlier rule banning their own policemen from playing Gaelic games, and to put that in his pipe and do what he liked with it. I don't think either of them even smoked pipes. But I knew they liked whiskey, and I wondered why they didn't tell each other all those complicated things when they were drinking together in Yuri on a Saturday night. <laughs> Still, some of the messages rubbed off on the messengers, and we learned a lot, Harry and me, in that playground of knowledge at the Bridge of Mayo. Sometimes Harry and I wondered why Catholics and Protestants didn't go to the same school in the first place. <clears throat> tell the young sons to tell his dad. The Catholics won't go to state schools because the Church of Rome wants to keep control over them. And while he's at it, will he ask him if he could lend me the loan of the stirrup pump for a few days while he was? <laughs> tell young McGarry, I tell Big Davy, that for years England made it illegal for Catholics to receive any education at all, and hounded and hanged their teachers and priests during the penal days, and was it any wonder Catholics built their own schools? And what the hell stirrup pump is he talking about? <laughs> Tell that we skit as get, to tell us old Fenian da, that the penal days were years ago, and there are now lovely schools and dinners and warm fires in every room for everybody to learn in, and there would be one in Mayo Bridge too, but the Catholics wouldn't go to it, wouldn't they not? And the stirrup pump is the one that he said was great for whitewashing with last Saturday night in Hale's pub. <laughs> tell that black-mouthed son of a Presbyterian orange man <laughs> that they can stick their soup in their pot belly stoves for those schools tell only an English view of Irish history, and well, he knows it. 
and that he can't land in the stair pump because he left it to him last summer and he never gave it back. <laughs> but if I had it, he would get it, for he's a decent man. And if he isn't doing anything next Monday, could he give me a day at the treasure? And so it went on until the seemingly insoluble conflicts would be shelved for the time being, for friendships were just as deep as differences, and life went on from sowing to mowing and from mowing to threshing.